this first DIY you just want to grab a jug or a decanter or anything that you think you will be useful to you. Um, I think the anthropology one was a wine decanter. Um, and I've just got this mixture of food colouring and um, PVA glue. You want to mix it to whatever colour that you want depending on what food colouring you put in. And I'm just applying this all over the very bottom and a little bit up the sides section of the jug. This will require a few layers depending on the translucency that you would like and how vivid you want the colour. But um, here I am just applying it all the way around and then touching back in in a few places more towards the bottom to create a more ombre type look. Um, and just brushing this all over as opposed to sponging it on because I wanted the sort of strokes with it. And then you just want to completely coat the bottom as well so that that's inclusive in your design and leave it to dry. Once dry you can also add a coat of clear lacquer to preserve your designs. The next DIY you want to grab a tea towel or just a piece of cloth is what I'm using that I'm going to turn into a tea towel and some masking tape or electrical tape as I'm using here and just using it to mask off different sort of geometric shapes. Once you've done this you're all ready to paint so you just want to grab your fabric paints in whatever colour that you want. Um, and apply this. I started by just applying it and then trying to sponge it on but it was a lot easier with my fabric paints anyway to make the sponge wet so that it would spread more. Um, this worked the best for the plain colours. The glittery ones that I had actually worked best if you just spread them with your finger. They were a lot different sort of feel to them and you just want to do all of your shapes like this. Then I made some pom poms just by wrapping some embroidery thread around my fingers and tying them as you would normally and glued them on with a hot glue gun according to the colours of the shapes. And there we are. <laughs>